What did you bring us today, Mitchell? An iron. An iron. Let's see if it still holds water. Now that we got it filled with water, how old do you think this is? 70s? It's been a while since they've used fabric cords on stuff. The cable is so old that when you bend it, you can feel and hear it cracking inside. So, do you want to hold it and plug it in? Uh, nope. <laughs> Problem solved. Is that hot? <laughs> Out of the sand. Hold on. There you go. And my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and does it give a good outline? Yep. <laughs> So it turns out that this iron is actually made out of aluminum. So it wasn't changing colors, but it started to melt and disfigure. Cool. Science. Neat. Next step now is just to cut it, see uh, what we damaged on the inside. I'm gonna pull it down first. Wow, that was still way hotter than I thought it was. <laughs> hey. Still really warm and how hot? Uh, just over 1200 degrees. 1200 degrees, that's when aluminum melts. So this was a true thousand degree iron. That's the water reservoir right there, looks like. Yeah. It was the water reservoir. It was. The other half of it. Then that's where we melted it. It doesn't look like we melted anything else inside of it, really. It's just the plate. Part of the heating coil right there. It's just like running a circle around the entire plate. It must. How does the water get from the tank through the holes on the plate, though? Yeah, this controls that, I think. There's a little... Some sort of lever that goes through that. Yeah, it opened up some kind of valve, but then just let it... drain down through the holes on the plate or something. Yeah, right there, that's where the, the heating element comes out of the plate. And then it looks like it goes in on this side down right there. Okay, it's all cleaned out and ready for the shelf. Where's it gonna go? By the tarantula. And the alternator. It still spins, surprisingly. Right.